You know, Valentine's is right around the corner. So join me today is Tori Brinson. She's a chef over at Bonefish Grill. She's showing us how to make some amazing Valentine's dinner at home. Hey there, Tony. How you doing? Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So like Katie says, it does smell good over here. What do we have? We have our filet mignon and we have some shrimp over here sizzling. And it's going to be for our lobster and shrimp thermidor. Okay. It's a filet mignon that's topped with our lobster bisque and some some succulent lobster meat, as well as some shrimp skewers for you. Okay. Alrighty. So first we're gonna start off with the steak. We're gonna turn that heat up on medium, you know, depending on whatever temperature you like, you're gonna cook it anywhere from six to eight minutes at home. Okay. And then while we're working on that, my steak has already been cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and drop my shrimp in the pan. Okay. And we're gonna cook that for maybe one and a half to two minutes on each side. And then while we're waiting on that to uh, finish up, we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle some parsley in there, get a little bit of extra flavor. Okay. Alrighty. And here I have the finished dish. It's gonna be nice and presentable for whoever you want to um, present it for, for your guests, maybe for a significant other. Um, we're looking forward to taking some reservations, so if you don't have the will or the way to cook it at home, we're always open to those reservations for Valentine's Day. So just call the restaurant and let us know. Alrighty, okay. so now we have the Woodford Reserve, and it has our bourbon, it has Angostura bitters, and our lime, our vanilla simple syrup that we make in-house here at Bonefish Grill. Okay. So I'm going to start off with this. I'm going to muddle a Bordeaux cherry, an orange wedge, go ahead and muddle that in there. And I'm going to add some bitters. Probably like two dashes. And our vanilla syrup. All righty. Then I'm going to add in that ice for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Trying to get that out of there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All righty. Add in our bourbon. And can you use um, any type of drink or um, you have to use bourbon? Well, this one particularly is our Woodford Reserve. Um, this is what we use at Bonefish Grill. Okay. If your flavor calls for another bourbon, then go for it. Okay. Pour that in there. All righty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my shaker, roll it back and forth twice. All righty. And then we're going to strain it into the glass. Now here I have ice cubes. Typically, typically, if you want to go for a better flavor, or you want your drink to last longer, yeah. it's best to use the large ice cubes because then it doesn't melt and you can enjoy your drink for longer. Okay. And I'm going to finish off with an orange peel just for some decoration, a little added flavor. So that's that. I'm dropping my cherry. And that is our Woodford Reserve um, Old Fashioned. All righty. So, any questions that you have for me as far as um, how you can make this at home? I think I'm good, but how long will it take to do something like this at home? Okay, like I said, um, depending on how you want to cook your steak, anywhere from six to eight minutes for the steak, mm -hmm. two minutes for the shrimp, and you're all done. So maybe like a 10 minute, okay. 10 minute dish. Um, if you want to do the lobster bisque at home, you can buy it at any of your local grocery stores. Um, usually the neighborhood markets have it. I know that Kroger has it. Oh, okay. You can just get it in the in the soup dish, and there you go. All right, Tony, thank you so much. Thank you. And we have those recipes on WJBF.com. Your live Viper forecast is up next. You're watching WJBF News Channel 6.